I'm gonna show you how to create a really easy homepage that makes a huge difference when your students enter your Canvas class. Let's dive in. We're gonna start with my Statistics 101 class and the default landing page is this, it's modules. Instead, we wanna create that homepage. Now make sure that you stick around until the very end. After we create this page, there's some really important steps that we need to do. Um, okay, where was I? Pages. So I'm gonna click on pages and I'm just gonna start by creating a new page. Let's click on the plus sign. You can call this homepage, you can call it welcome. I'm gonna call it homepage. And I wanna start with a really nice welcome banner and I want that to be aligned center. Actually, I want most of my elements on my homepage to be aligned in the center. So I'm gonna go over to my alignment tool, which is here and then click align center. If yours wasn't there, you can click on the three dots. Now I really want a welcome banner and I want one that's free cause I love free stuff. So I'm gonna open up an empty tab and we're gonna to go to free pick. I'm not even gonna log in, of course you could. And let's search for welcome. And most important, you wanna go over to the left-hand side, scroll down under license and choose free. That way it brings up just the ones that are completely free. You can scroll through these and choose whichever one you think fits your class best. I'm gonna choose, I really like this one. Now I'm gonna click on it. I'm not gonna automatically download because I really want it as a JPEG file. So instead of hitting the download button, I'm gonna hit the down arrow and then choose JPEG. So it's downloaded it for me. I'm gonna open it up because I wanna edit it just a little bit. Now you can skip this step, but look at how much white space this particular welcome image has. It's gonna take up all of that space on my Canvas page. Let's edit it. I'm on Microsoft here, so I'm just gonna to go to Microsoft Designer, totally free, it's just what came with my computer. And I wanna crop, and I'm gonna crop out as much of the white space above and below. Okay, perfect. And then save, okay, save as copy. And there it is. And you can change it to welcome image so it's easier to find. I'm gonna remember where it is, it lives in downloads. Okay, save. Um, yes, I wanna replace that. Um, okay, let's click out of here and back to our homepage. I wanna add this image. Now you can use the image icon. I'm gonna use the menu and do insert image, upload image, and then click the rocket ship to get to your computer images. And I want that second one that I cropped and then click open. It's really important to add some alt text here for students that might have either a screen reader or just slow internet. I'm gonna change this to um, just a welcome banner. Okay, and then submit. Now it's gonna show up pretty big and I want it to be smaller for sure. Let's click on it. Notice how you get these four little squares in the corners. If you hover on any of those squares, it gives you a resizing tool. I'm gonna to just click, hold and drag to resize this to the size that I want. Now I'm gonna put some more elements here so it's really nice to make this canvas or rich content editor space bigger. There's this little array of dots in the lower right hand corner. If you hover over that, you can resize your canvas. Okay, great. I'm gonna click so that I'm at the end of that welcome banner and I'm just gonna hit enter. And I wanna say something like, I'm glad you're here. So let's just type that, I'm glad you're here exclamation mark. You can make this italic. I'm going to make this um, a bigger font. I mean, so many things that you can do here. Okay, so I'm glad you're here. I'm clicking off of that and then clicking enter. The next element that I like to add is a welcome video. And this is especially great at the start of a term. And you can alternate this with other things. Now you can make this as simple or as professional as you want. I'm gonna keep it simple and use the video recorder that's part of the rich content editor. It's just built right in here. So we're gonna to go to insert and then media. You could use that media icon as well. And I wanna go upload record media and we wanna go over to the record tab. Um, it looks like it's not selecting the right webcam. Let's click on webcam and I think it's this one instead and it is. And then I just wanna go ahead and start recording. So I'm gonna hit start recording, counts me down. And then I would make a really nice welcome video here. As soon as I'm finished, click finish. 
And then that's a great looking picture, but I'm not gonna re-record, even though I probably would. Um, let's just save media. And it's still centered, which is great. Okay, so we've got our welcome banner. We've got a video. How incredibly easy was that? And then I want a couple of navigation buttons, buttons that students can click to get to important places in this Canvas site. Um, let's see, where is my cursor here? Let me do enter again. So I'm lined up there in the middle. I like to put these buttons horizontally lined up instead of vertical like everything else. So I am going to do insert table so I can get these lined up. So insert table, and I'm just gonna continue to hover over the number of cells that I want. I'm gonna do two buttons to keep it simple, but to be honest, I usually have three buttons on my welcome page. Let's click on two buttons though. Um, a couple of important things. I want this, every part of this to be centered. So I'm gonna select this table and then go to my align tool and center align. I also wanna make sure that I'm aligned inside of the cell. So if I click inside of a cell, do you see that cursor that's over there on the left? I want that one to be centered as well. Center align. I'm gonna do the same thing for this other cell. Center align. Um, I've got some pretty big cells here. I'm just hovering to resize stuff. So let's just resize, resize, and then it will recenter things. Um, uh, about here, I'm gonna guess. Okay, we're, we're gonna play with it more, don't worry. Uh, I also don't wanna see those borders. So again, just clicking on this, I'm gonna go to table up at the top and then table properties. I'm gonna change that border width to zero. We'll still be able to see the border, but your students won't. So I'm gonna change that to zero and then save. Okay, so now I'm ready to put a button into each of these cells. It's incredibly easy to design your buttons. Let's go to a new tab and go to Google Drawings. Okay, so Google Drawings, this is completely free. Um, click on Google Drawings. It's completely free and super easy. I'm gonna to go to shapes. So I'm just gonna do it with the shape icon. You could do inserts. I'm gonna to go to my shape icon. I like the rectangles with rounded corners, but play around with these. Shapes, rounded, rectangle. Um, what do you call that? And then it gives me this cross hash cursor. I'm gonna click, hold, and drag to create my button shape. Um, that looks fine. I also wanna get rid of all of this extra space in my canvas. Notice at the lower right, I've got this little resizing tool. So I'm just gonna hover over it until I get that resizing cursor. And then let's arrow up. I'm just dragging up until I have very little space around the button. Okay, so here's our button. I definitely wanna add some text. I like to have a start button and then we'll do another button. To add text, couldn't be easier. I'm gonna just double click and then it gives me this cursor. It's ready for me to type. I wanna type start um, and then let's make it look nice. Um, I don't want this font. I really like using Comic Sans. I know some people are kind of down on Comic Sans, but I like it. I'm gonna use Comic Sans and I want a much bigger font, like maybe 48. And then I wanna play with my colors. Here, I'm gonna change this to green. I'm gonna to go to this fill color icon, um, the bucket, and I want a darker green, and I'm gonna change the lettering, the font color to white. I'm looking for that accessibility contrast. This is not a good accessibility contrast. Let's highlight that font, and then over here to my text color, I'm gonna change that to white. We could also change the border color and I think I'm just gonna leave it black. So that's it, you guys. I'm ready to download this. Over to file, so file, download. I really want a PNG image because the PNG image will give me automatically a transparent background. So let's choose PNG image. Perfect. Okay, also in downloads. Back to my home page. My cursor is already inside of that first cell, so I'm ready to insert my image. Um, insert, image, upload image, click the rocket ship, and there it is, open. I definitely want some alt text. So this is a button that says start. You could also use start here, whatever. Um, it's gonna be too big. 
Let's click on it to get those blue resizing squares. And I'm just gonna hover and then click, drag, and hold. Click, hold, and drag. And that size looks pretty good. Now, remember, we're gonna have to make these links. They're not links yet. But let's do the second button while we're here. I'm gonna go back to my untitled drawing. I don't want the second one to be start. Let's have the second one be um, like join office hours. So join Zoom office hour. Um, the font is way too big here. So let's highlight all of that. Change the font size down to not like that. Let's do like 36 maybe. And then I want it to be office and picky. Okay, join Zoom office hour, that works. But I want a different color. Remember my palette was like oranges and blues. Let's change that background color, going to our fill color buckets. Let's change it to kind of a dark blue. Um, oh, that's a nice contrast. And then we're ready, that's it. So let's do file and then download PNG image. Got it. Back to my homepage. I'm clicked here in the second cell and I'm going to insert image, upload image, click the rocket ship, choose my button and then open. I know it's gonna be too big, but I'm just gonna say button that says um, join Zoom office hour and then submit. Um, I'm gonna resize it. I'm not gonna be super exact. There are other things that you can do, but I find that I can just kind of ballpark it pretty good by just clicking and then using those corners. I think that's actually really good. Now, if you wanted these to be spaced further apart, you could do that by hovering on the middle here and then changing the spacing using those uh, resizing tools. Okay, so I think it looks I think it looks great actually, but we're still missing that important step of linking these buttons. To link the buttons, it's so easy. I'm gonna click on that first start button. I really want that start button to take them to the modules page. To get it to link to the modules page, I'm gonna choose the link icon up here, but I'm gonna use the down arrow next to it. So down arrow by that link and then course link. And it brings up this menu over on the right hand side. I want, you could either do course navigation or you can do modules and then link it to the getting started module. I want it to go to the module page. It honestly doesn't matter. So I can also choose modules here. So now it's gonna link them to modules. Okay, let me um, close that. Next, I want them to join my office hours. This one's an external link. And I thought ahead and I opened up my Zoom. I'm already here under personal room and I can copy that link. So let's copy that link back to my page. I'm gonna click on my join office hour button and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna click on that link, down arrow. This time I want external link. You could also do a control K. That's a really nice shortcut. Control K or it's probably command K on a Mac. I'm gonna put my cursor here and then I already copied it. So I'm gonna do a control V or command V. Okay, so there we go and then done. So both of those now are buttons. We're almost done except for one, in, well, a couple of incredibly important steps. Let's go ahead and save and publish this, but it is not yet our homepage. It is just a page. I need to do two things next. The first one is to designate it as the homepage. To do that, I'm gonna to go to view all pages. You could go back to your pages tab if you needed to, but I've got view all pages here. And then homepage, I'm gonna click the three dots way over there on the right hand side. And I'm gonna choose use as front page. But if I click on home, it's not enough. So I've got another step here. I wish that was all you had to do, but it isn't. The other step is done on the home page. Notice how I've got the home tab clicked. I'm gonna go over here on the right hand side and I'm gonna choose home page. Right now I've got course modules selected, but I wanna select that pages front page and then save. Now I've got this set up as our homepage and that's it. I would love, love, love to know what you do with your homepages. Let me know down in the comments and subscribe for more.